on an Oracle network level, it, it actually works in a very similar way. So you can go up the security impact curve. As you go up, you achieve naturally diminishing returns, marginal utility of each additional security impact could decrease, but the cost might increase. The future fee opportunity justifies that because it continues to grow. And then you eventually arrive at a kind of plateau for traditional security best practices. And here you can once again differentiate yourself as a network by being composed of nodes with the highest quality reputations and data providers with the highest quality reputation scores. And you can provide um, a sense of collective staking or a sense of collective deposit guarantees from your network and for your network in some form either through a pool or through a, or through some uh, other category of mechanisms. And this greater staking guarantee provides the security guarantees that users will need to say that network, even though it has great security bit practices, even though it has great decentralization and high reputation scores, is the superior network. It, 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 it has more stake, it has more reliability, it has more skin in the game, it has more of a deposit, it has more incentives. And at the end of the day, that incentive just like it incentivizes proper operation in various um, proof of stake blockchains, incentivizes proper operation in the chain link network. And likewise, the, the people providing the stake and the people providing the computation are uniquely um, incentivized to do that in their own unique way. All of this, once again, will move that distinct Oracle network closer to capturing more of the current and future fee opportunity, which is um, what they want to do and what they need to do um, in order to, to continue to, to, to kind of get more revenue from the network.